WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's up 125 points, about four tenths of a percent, two tenths for the S&P or nine. One tenth for the uh, Nasdaq 100, 18 points. The uh, Russell's off one tenth of a percent. That's two points. 17 points or half a percent for the semis. The trannies are up 15 points. A mixed bag out there. Gold's off 50 cents. Silver's up two pennies. Lights recruit trade down 22 cents at 80.77. Natural gas is up eight pennies, trading at 257. And a 30 year treasury up three ticks. 120.05 is the current print. Let's take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. You got an, a TD nine count bottom that completed yesterday. As long as price remains above 44.47, we should see a rally. The rally should take us up towards the top of its profile. That's at 45.51. But first, what price needs to do? It needs to contend with the bottom of that daily profile that it closed before uh, below. So the key level for a close today for this TD nine count pattern to take hold, I'd say, it would have to be a close above 44.69. If we take a look at the uh, spot volatility, it's still above its 50-day exponential moving average. If you were to see a close below that level, and that level, by the way, is 1508, that would bode well for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, it has a TD9 count bottom pattern. It's trading with inside its daily profile. As long as price remains above 1502075, when I say remains above, closes above 1502075, we should see a rally inside the NQ. Price targets 15315 and 15551. U.S. dollar index has formed a new or is trying to form a new daily profile out there. You've got resistance up at 10332 and support is in the 10177 to 10229 range. Gold is testing its TD9 count bottom threshold level. That's at 1934.20 or 1934.60. A close below that would suggest lower price. Otherwise, we should see a rally inside of Goldilocks. Silver also forming a TD9 count bottom. That remains in effect as long as price closes, continues to close above 22.41. Now, a new profile is attempting to form. It's a very narrow range profile with support at 2256 and resistance up at the 2302 level. Light Street Crude is testing the bottom of its daily profile for second day, 8117. We're trading just below that. If we close below it, we're likely going to head to 7784. That is the center of its weekly profile. And natural gas, it's pulling back right now into its bullish structure daily profiler. And that's between 251 and 256. Uh, and the 30-year Treasury, it's got to buy the D-point pattern, brand new profile. And this needs to close back above 12013 for that buy the D-point pattern to take hold. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.